what's up what's up beautiful people it's your girl cuter queen back at it again with you with another one so today oh by the way long time no see yeah be prepared to be sick of me but today i am making this video to show my beautiful clients my new lovely clients who are looking to order press on nails how to measure their nails so they can have a set that's specifically made for their fingers only and also I'm making this video because I know when I'm explaining to you guys in messages it's kind of hard to understand what I'm saying and it might become overwhelming and it's also kind of like frustrating and annoying to sit here and do all this work for this but keep in mind that this is only a one-time thing for i do write down measurements of all my clients and i keep them in a book so whether you've been you're gonna order two years from now i'll always have mine unless something happens i'll always and i'll also keep a digital copy of measurements of my clients nails so it is a one-time thing hopefully fingers crossed nothing ever happens to where i have to have you guys measure again but it for more than likely is a one-time thing so there's a few things you're gonna need to measure your nails you're gonna need you you really could just use this plop it right on there or you can also use a sheet of paper you're gonna want a flimsy sheet of paper so I could just use this. I just thought about that. You're going to want a soft tape measure or this is going to work just fine. But specifically a soft tape measure. A few pointers when measuring. Uh, there is no like one point this, one point that, five point this, five point that. All the numbers of the nails are here and they start from zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, all the way to eleven so your numbers are straight like that so if you feel like you're in between numbers i always advise to go with the highest number never size down always size up so we're going to start with our thumb see how i can bend it see that's see that's not gonna work we're not gonna do that but you could do this if you wanted to you know, I mean, you just got the round it. So that would be about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that's about twelve millimeters. So my point of finger is about twelve millimeters. So you can do that, or you can do what I was originally going to show you guys, which is I'll just take a sheet of paper, and we're going to be measuring. Um, from sidewall to sidewall you want to measure the widest part of your finger so you don't want to measure down here because this is too slim okay you don't want to measure down here it's too slim you're gonna want to measure up you don't want to measure up here it's too curved you're gonna want to measure right in the middle right where your finger looks like it's even evened out and you're gonna just mark from sidewalls and really mark down on my thumb to know that I'm doing it right to sidewall like so and then you'll take this and count your tallies so this line marks nine so we'll start right there nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen six seven I'm at about 16, 17, so about 17 millimeters. I'm trying to get my sizing chart pulled up so I can also show you, y'all, once I get that technology quit messing with me like this, I'm going to pull up my sizing chart and we'll figure out what numbers my nails are. So we're going to go to the pointer finger, which we already figured out was 12, but let's try it on here just to see if we get the same number. So you're going to go up to the middle of the nail, side wall, to, oops, side wall, try to stay still, to side wall, okay. So that's about my pointer finger. And we're at 9, 10, 11, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're at 12 exactly. So now we're going to do... Make sure you label so we know what we're looking at. And then we're going to do this one. I don't know why I keep doing that now, but I'm trying to show y'all the paper method. But also, you could do this. So right here, we're getting 9, 10, 11, 
12, 13, we're getting about 13. Let me see. Okay, we're getting about 13 there. Let's see if we get 13 on here. Sidewall to sidewall. Excuse me, guys, this is 13. Okay, 9, 10, 11. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 9, 10, 9, 10, 11. This is about 11. So let's try it here. Let's see. Mark here. Y'all, yeah, I don't. Mark here and here. Y'all, yeah, I do not. Um, I have never measured my nails, y'all. I usually just wear socks and parts. So, if your nails look like mine, which here are my nails, you're probably a size large. But, always measure because you never know. So, now we're doing 9, 10, 11. This was about 11 millimeters. And that was... This is my middle finger. This was my ring finger. And now we're doing the pinky. From here to here. And we're getting about eight millimeters on the pinky. Okay, guys, give me a second. Let me try to get my sizing chart pulled up. I'll be right back. Here's the sizing chart. Here's exactly what the sizing chart is going to look like. I'm also going to put it up here so y'all can see it. I just got it down here for me. So we're at an 18. So that's going to put us at a zero. We're at 12 millimeters. So that's going to put us at a size five. We're at 14. No, we were at 13 millimeters. So we're going to do size four. And then we're at 14, so we're going to do a size 3. And we're at 12, so we're going to do a size 5. And we're at 9, so we're going to do a size 8. Which is crazy because usually the pinkies are too big and they're a size 7. Okay, so here are the nails. Size 0 is here which I'm just gonna show y'all y'all don't have to watch all of this if you're just here to measure but I am gonna show y'all like that's how the zero fits me on my thumb uh, for my pointer finger we have a size four that says five and I needed an extra five so right now that fits me perfectly Here's how size four fits me. Sorry, y'all, because I'm dirty from painting. And three for my middle finger. That fits me perfectly. And then five for my ring finger. Fits me perfectly. And then we have eight for my pinky. And I want to say it's a little too big. Um, usually the large size largest come with a seven. And that's too big too. So yeah, eight is way smaller. The sevens are way too big for me. Eight fits better, but it's still kind of too big for me. But like I said, you can um, follow down and then you can let me know. Like that was just a little too big or whatever. And then we can resize and stuff like that. So um, I'll just go down the size, down a millimeter. And we'll change the size based on that. So here's what my paper looks like up close. My tally marks, my thumb, pointer finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger. 
in my sizes. So I'm size 0, 4, 3, 5, 8, 9 millimeters, 12 millimeters, 14 millimeters, 13 millimeters, and 18 millimeters. I hope that video was helpful to all my beautiful ladies who've been messaging me about press ons. I know it's kind of like, ooh, dang, I gotta do all this just to get some press ons. Um, or you can just try and guesstimate in general size and choose a general sizing. So medium, large, small. Um, I'm doing whatever you tell me. So if you don't want to measure and you're like, I probably wear a medium, then I'll make you a medium. If you don't want to measure and you're like, I probably wear a large, then I'll make you a large. If you don't want to measure and you're like, I probably wear a small, then I'll make you a small. But if you do want more of an accurate measurement, perfect, you want them to fit, smack them on there. Don't have to worry about doing all that, this and the third. Then here's how you do it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'll catch y'all on the next one.